Good evening. My name is Jen Kaufman, and I am the OKMEA Band Vice President. Thank you for attending this evening's concert. You are going to hear some amazing music performed by incredibly talented and hardworking young musicians and their directors. The stage is set for a very memorable evening for not only the audience, but the students as well. Thank you for keeping your mask on at all times while inside the PAC, and please ensure that anything that could beep, buzz, or cry is on silent as we are having a professional recording made. You can purchase recordings in the lobby. At this time, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you Ray Erie and the Choctaw High School Wind Ensemble.
Performing as an OKMEA Honor Group is one of the most prestigious achievements for an ensemble. At this time, I would like Ray Erie to accept this plaque, which reads, the Oklahoma Music Educators Association awards this certificate to Choctaw High School Wind Ensemble in recognition of being selected as an honor group to perform at the Oklahoma Music Educators Association Convention on the 21st, is it the 21st? Yeah, good, all right, 21st day of January, 2022. All the ones last night had the wrong date. I had to think about it every time. Please congratulate Ray Erie and the Choctaw High School Wind Ensemble. Thank you. I actually had a friend who, well, I know that's unbelievable too. I actually had a friend who said, um, if only your band would start playing you off when your time was up. Uh, they had better not do that. But thank you for being here this evening instead of second dinner, first drinks, or wherever you are in that rotation. I'm very grateful to all the people in this room who make bands a true asset in our state. Everyone in this building recognizes the value and hard work required to do what we do, and you don't have to travel far in Oklahoma to see or hear truly great performances. And while we may all be competitive at times, we have far more in common than we do. We do differences. Um, to think that something that began centuries ago with people like Berlioz and Dvorak, Holst and Granger, something like that would become so addictive that more people in Oklahoma would be involved in this activity than any other is, is astonishing and astounding. Um, I'd also like to thank tonight, I'd be the first person tonight to thank OMEA for, uh, for making this event possible. I know that that, that, that took a lot of work this year uh, to pull off and, and it's, been, it's been an honor to get to participate in that. Um, we recognize that the backbone of our program are the parents, administrators, board members, who recognize the value of music in our schools, and, and that can't be overstated. I'd like to specifically take a moment to recognize our superintendent, David Reed, and our principal, Jackie Harris, as well as our assist, one of our assistant superintendents, uh, Dr. Gaona, and also one of our uh, school board members who's here tonight, Janice Modisette. Janice is a former band parent and a band grandmother as well. So we thank, thank them for coming and, and supporting our program. There's no way to recognize um, our program without talking endlessly, which I promise I won't do, uh, about our staff. Our directors, Josh Turner and Chelsea Zuniga, Stephanie Stratman, Susan Wessel, and Cameron Burton continue, continue to truly amaze me every day. And then of course there's Kimberly Erie, who not only teaches everything from woodwind classes to uh, to percussion classes, but she coordinates uh, all of our private lesson teachers, techs for the fall, and, and everyone who, who we can get to help us out. And then the added uh, pleasure of getting to relive everything that happens every day, uh, play by play, when we, when we get home, which I'm sure is a lot of fun. Uh, and then of course, lastly, uh, I'd like to thank our students, past and present, who made this possible and sit through hours of rambling from their band director philosopher, which you've only got a taste of tonight, I promise it won't last too much longer, and for their commitment and dedication in making this possible. And then, truly lastly, um, Dr. Wakefield from the University of Oklahoma, who uh, I'd have to thank him for my love of atonal things, and uh, despite my original intent. And then, of course, my high school band directors, Jay Smith, Glenn Cranfield, and Terry Wyatt, one of them left an old vinyl LP in the band room that was the, it was entitled The Spectacular Cleveland Orchestra with George Sell. And the first track on that record was uh, The Slavonic Dance Number 8, and I wore that record until it, it, it won't play anymore. And so I'd like to thank all of them for their influences, and, and again, thank you for letting, thank you for coming and letting us play for you tonight.